Hello everyone and welcome back to Aviation A to Z. Today we will be evaluating and learning about apprenticeship. In this video we will see what is apprenticeship and about background, applicability, eligibility, training, assessment and much more. So let's get started. According to DGCA, in its 2015 report, AME field is blossoming and nearly 72,900 jobs for technicians and AMEs will be created in India across airlines and MRO sector by 2035. Also, nearly 3,644 AME received BMEC in last 5 years. However, only 159 type training AME licenses were issued. Those who don't know type rating, I will tell you in short. Type rating is training on particular aircraft to get license. For example, if you want 737 NG license, you need to do training on that aircraft. DGCA further added, the AME trainees passing out from DGCA approved AME training institute get no effective practical training during the course and that's why we need that. They must do training with airlines MROs as apprentices. Thus, main reason which affect the employability of pressure is lack of practical training. The Ministry of Civil Aviation has decided to fill this skill gap and streamline the practical training of AME training by putting two parallel systems to improve employability and accelerate the process to become type rated engineer. These two parallel systems are one year standard apprenticeship for AME with airlines, MRO, non scheduled operators, and other system is one year Air India and Boeing AME accelerated training program. DGCA's main role is to standardize AME apprenticeship program all over the country, improve the employability of students by providing them with needed skill and recognize their competence. Also, this step by DGCA is really helpful for you my friends. The apprenticeship is a one-year course and this experience counts as real one-year employment, which means it will be added in practical training. To make it simple, let's take an example. If you are from B1.1, you need 5 years, while if you have done course from DGC approved college, then you need 4 years. And now this 1 year of apprenticeship will be counted in 4 years and after doing apprenticeship, you only need 3 additional years of practical experience to qualify for type rated exam. And finally, you can become aircraft maintenance engineer and that is our main goal. The apprenticeship is for all three main streams. Mechanical, which is fixed wing like A1, A2, B1.1, B1.2 and B3 while mechanical but helicopter or rotary such as A3, A4, B1.3 and B1.4 and for Avenix as well. Also, DGCA set guidelines for organization providing apprenticeship to trainee. They are they must have more than 40 employees and it's compulsory to engage 25% of their main power to training. To quickly understand, let's take an example. Air India Mumbai base have 1000 employees. Just an example, number can vary. Out of 1000, minimum 250% should assist, help, teach the trainee students. Who can enroll in this? The candidates who have passed 3 year AME training course from DGC Approved Institute. Also, they must have paper 1 and paper 2, which today is all basic model from model 3 to model 10. Whether you are B1 or B2, this must be followed. And most important condition, trainee must have less than 1 year of practical experience and OGT doesn't count as an experience, remember this. According to Ministry of Civil Aviation statement in 2015, they said they will develop an AME apprenticeship portal that will track and monitor implementation of apprenticeship training. 
in this portal board trainee and employer will register also employer will indicate number of apprentices they will train on particular year the number of apprentices they will train should be more than half of apprentices that employer will induct let's take an example if airline wish to induct and provide job to 30 apprentices then they must train extra half which means 15 more of the requirement that's make a total of 45 apprentices likewise portal will generate a merit list of all registered candidate that will be available to employer the employer will conduct their own interview and assessment test for selection of candidates but this site is under development employer will conduct both classroom training and field training. Let's understand both in detail. Classroom training will cover the knowledge requirements in areas where they will work like air legislation, documentation, ramp and personal safety equipment and items, maintenance practices, human factors, safety management system. Also organization maintenance capability and scope of approval, fleet of aircraft, system overview, aircraft servicing, procedure and precaution, and much more. While field or work environment training is a mandatory to carry out field training under supervision of permanent staff, it will include use of general tools and special tools, use of PPE, maintenance precaution, understanding of frame marking and arrangements, aircraft receiving and dispatching procedures, also aircraft inspection, servicing, use of auxiliary power, equipment such as GPU, air conditioning cart, hydraulic cart, etc. Also aircraft component location, identification, removal and installation procedures, aircraft cleaning as well, and aircraft interior inspection and maintenance, and additional tasks as per organizational capabilities. Remember, the field training will constitute 75% of apprenticeship training. Like if it's one year, then nine months will be field training and three months will be classroom training. After undergoing this program for one year, you will be assessed by respective employers as per certain standard. After this, they will select candidate and certify them. Those who not got selected in organization will also be issued completion certificate, which will be beneficial while applying for other airlines and MROs. According to DGC official document, the employer should pay a stipend of Rs 3542 to trainee, while employer free to pay higher stipend than minimum rate. Also, all employer must protect and take safety measures of apprentice through suitable insurance policy. The AME training and monitoring portal is not there, but there is one portal where you can register to get jobs and I will reveal this site name in part 2 of this video. So wait and subscribe and click on bell icon to never miss our video. According to fixed wing and helicopter, the syllabus are segregated. If you are from B1.1, you are eligible to do OGT in helicopter. And if you are B1.3, you can also do OGT in fixed wing providing you need to follow the syllabus and vice versa. Remember, all training irrespective of stream will be carried out according to ATA chapters. I have made an Instagram post at Aviation A to Z where you are able to see the topics covered during apprenticeship training program for both stream. As I already mentioned, all trainee at last will undergo assessment in which total 100 marks of exam will be carried out and are as follows. 5 marks for behavior airmanship, 10 marks for safety minded, 10 marks for technical skill, 60 marks for 2 practical task performance and remaining 15 marks for documentation.
Student undergoing in this training will get familiarization with camo, quality department, line maintenance, base maintenance and stores. Remember, component and engine shop are part of base maintenance department. That's it for today. In my next video, I will be discussing about Air India and Boeing Apprenticeship Program as well as some other Indian organization providing different courses. Apart from this, I will also share some highlight on foreign airline organization providing apprenticeship and tell you your eligibility. Till then, subscribe us and keep watching, keep sharing and keep learning.